Bonjour. Hey, y'all. My name is Lachelle Nicole, also known as Shell the Beauty Bell. And thank you for stopping by. Today, y'all, I did a nice, subtle, uh, pink look i should say but it's still a soft glam something for the soft life something for the soft girls you know i used 95 percent of juvia's place products i also did a second review of the juvia's place i am magic radiance foundation so if you want to see how i got this look stay tuned First things first, my eye is itching, so we're going to scratch that and get it out of the way. Then we're going to go into skin prep. We're going to use my Holy Grail. If y'all know me, know me, then y'all know that I love e.l.f. It's um, the Super Hydrate with Squalene. This is my second jar, y'all. I absolutely love it. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. It just makes my face feel really soft and moisturized, and I like it. Y'all should try it. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. It's the pink one that has the 4% niacinamide. Now, um, this feels the same as the original Power Grip, but it's a little more tacky. And I really like that. So if you like um, the Power Grip original, but you want it a little bit more tacky, you should definitely try this one. Niacinamide does help with evening out your skin tone. So that is why i'm using this because you know i have a little bit of hyper hyperpigmentation and every little bit of product that helps with that is a plus for the bells and bows that know me they know me and they know that this is my holy grail brow pencil the benefit precisely my brow pencil i can't do my brows without it y'all i absolutely love it it's just that precisely a brow pencil that's what I'm doing now. I'm giving y'all a little bit of brow action, getting my brows together. If you want a class on that, I'm definitely going to be hosting one soon, so stay tuned. So I'm just going to let you watch me fill in my brows, and I'll do one on camera or one on video, and then I'll do the other one off camera. I had to get me a energy booster y'all so I'm drinking some caramel frappe from McDonald's it's a sugar rush so I'm going in next with the elf camo concealer let's remember that this concealer does dry fast and it is a matte finish I use this to clean up under my brows and get that perfect arch y'all see it now I'm using it as a primer for my lids so that I can put the eyeshadow on my eyes so I decided that I wanted like a bold color but not so bold but a pretty berry color so I picked up the Juvia's Place Berries palette and I'm going into the darkest purple or the darkest berry color and I'm making like a C shape a little bit like a C shape but I'm gonna do a no cut crease cut crease look and y'all just follow along I love the colors I really do love these colors if they had names I would tell you the names but these palettes don't have names so you just gotta watch boot making me better you hotter than pepper mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you with a big step who chasing a cheddar mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all of these women they not on your level mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you like a mix of business and pleasure mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you a move body giving seen a fuse i'm just saying i'm a mule but you ain't even flexing then you cool tear it up cover won't different vibe in you ain't but you ain't even so after I put down the shimmer and I got the colors together that I wanted for the basic, the base part of the look, I went into the Juvia's Place Mauve 
palette and then I got the light one of the lightest colors there and I used that as a transition color to kind of go over the darker colors so that it wouldn't look so harsh around the edges and kind of give it like a gradient effect I'm just trying to make sure that the edges are blended and they are not too harsh because you don't want them to look too harsh because it throws off the look so that's what I'm doing now Making me better, you hotter than pepper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so as you can see this is definitely not a no cut crease cut crease but I'll be sure to give you one of those soon in one of these videos so next i'm going into the juvia's place i live i love eyeliner but one of the things i don't like so much about it is it doesn't dry matte it has the perfect pinpoint to make sure that you get a very precise and chiseled line but it just doesn't dry matte so i'm not sure how i feel about that but i like it so i'm doing a little wing y'all we getting some wing action today i did a little itty bitty wing no judgment but now i'm gonna do the rest of it off camera so this is the second time around with the juvia's place i am magic radiance foundation i went ahead and changed the color so the shade that i picked up this time is lagos it complements my skin a little better than the one that I had before. If you haven't watched that review or that first impression, definitely take a minute and go back in my videos and check it out. The only thing that changed about this foundation is the shade. Um, I just changed it for the shade match and everything else is perfect. I love the coverage that it gives. Now it claims that it gives a medium coverage but for me i feel like it's full coverage because look i've only applied once and you can see that my blemishes are covered my hyperpigmentation is covered it looks very good i'm dewy i'm glowing and i like it so i have heard claims of this being a dupe to the nars radiant foundation i have not tried that foundation as of yet but i definitely will try it and do a compare on this channel so y'all stay tuned for that you like a mix of business and pleasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I used about four pumps and I had that much left over. So you don't need much. Now I'm going into my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. Just highlighting those focal points of the face that I want special attention added to. Now sometimes I do use a concealer that's about one or two shades more lighter than the one that I'm using now to give a highlight just directly under my eye but today I'm just using a light concealer to highlight those points. So now we're going into the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer by Fenty Beauty in the color Toffee Tees. I normally use Espresso Matchstick, but when I can't find that, this is my go-to. I like both of them, but I prefer the Espresso Matchstick, but this will do. So now I'm doing a contour, a deep contour, because I really like deep contours. All ladies, women, they not your level, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a move, body giving seen a fuse. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. Then you cool, tat it up, cover warm, different vibe and you ain't proof. But you ain't even flexing. 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 
If you noticed, I let the concealer sit while I did my um, contour and blended my contour in. And I do this because I want it to set. I don't want it to be so um, liquidy. And if you let it sit for a little while, it will get tacky or it will dry down. So it'll be like a matte finish and you'll have a flawless finish. So just let your concealer rest for a little while after you put it on and you'll get a seamless flawless finish just look at it look how it's smoothing out and it's covering up those lines and it's perfect making me better you hotter than pepper you with a big step who chasing a cheddar all of these women they not on your level you like a mix now i'm going into the anastasia um setting powder in deep peach and it might not be in deep peach hold on y'all let me see what it is yes yeah, so this is deep peach and normally i use this if my highlighted area where i've concealed is a little bit too bright for me that helps tone down the brightness and then i'll go over it with a second powder so now i'm going in with the sacha buttercup i love this setting powder this was my very first setting powder that i used when i started doing makeup i know some will say that it defeats the purpose to use two setting powders but it's just something that i do sometimes like when i feel that my um, highlighted concealer or my concealer is a little bit too bright i use two i use an orange or um like a reddish tone powder to kind of tone it down and then i go in with the regular setting powder and it works fine for me look at how it's just laying out it's just so smooth and flawless y'all i'm absolutely loving it y'all i absolutely love this spray by mac cosmetics it's the fix plus setting spray if you haven't used it before, definitely try it in your routine when you're applying your makeup and you'll see for yourself. I just love it. Now, this is my Holy Grail finishing powder for my whole face. I use it faithfully. It, this is the Black Radiant Soft Focus finishing powder. I absolutely love it and it's in the color Milk Chocolate. Sometimes I use it before I use the MAC finish, uh, Fix Plus, but other times I do it after and my skin still looks bomb so right now i'm just going through and just touching up doing like final touches on my um foundation or the base to make sure everything is blended you know there was a time when i started when i first started doing makeup i used to be scared to go back and like finish up or touch up or blend together what I had done and I thought that was so weird did anybody else feel like that or they felt like they couldn't go back and touch up what they had done I, I don't know why I felt like that or I don't know why I did that but make sure y'all go back and make sure everything is blended everything is together everything is marrying together so it looks good okay so I'm going now into the Juvia's Place Saharan or Saharan Blush 1, I think it is. If that's not it, then I'll have it down in the description box. But this is the blush palette. And I showed y'all what colors I was using. If they have names, I'll make sure I put them in the box as well. And I'm just doing a little light flush of pink. It's really pretty. And I also used it as a highlight. I used that palette as um, for my highlighter as well and i'm pointing to those and i just like the soft pink and shimmer effects that it gives it's really light and it's really pretty something that you can do for every day and of course, the mascara that I'm using is by Benefit Cosmetics, and it is their Real Magnet 
mascara. This is the mascara that I gave away in a giveaway about a week or two ago. Um, so y'all definitely stay tuned for the giveaway that I'm having coming up next. So you won't be out of the loop. I'm going in now with the Urban Decay 24 hour glide pencil. It's an eyeliner and it's in the color um, demolition. I think I can't remember. I'll make sure. I'll put it in the description box, but this goes under my eye. If you see, I have like, in any of my pictures, I have a dark color under my eye. It's either this or another one of the Urban Decay um, 24 hour glide pencils. I love those pencils. Next, I'm going in with my lashes. It doesn't matter how you put on your lashes, y'all, just as long as you put them on. As long as they stay, as long as they're comfortable for you and they hold throughout the day, you're good to go. I could show you a million times how to put them on, but there's no right or wrong way how to put them on as long as they stay on your your, your eyes, sis, right? And so that's what I'm doing now. These lashes are from Amazon. So I'm going into the lip combo for today, which is by Juvia's Place. Um, the lip color is a mauve moment and the lip pencil is scorpion this is like a reddish color and it is bomb i wasn't too confident with using a red lip liner and then like a mauvish pink color lip color but it worked perfect as you can see i love julia's place liner pencils they are smooth going on girl and listen just look at it pop in if you wanted to just pop some gloss in the middle of your lips you could do that too and it still would look bomb any kind of nude color bomb now check out this mauve moment lip color it's giving like betty boop right <laughs> i love it so i'm just gonna let y'all stay tuned and see the final results you like a mix of business and pleasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a move, body giving, seen a fuse. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. Then you cool, tied it up, cover warmth, different vibe, you know ain't But you ain't even flexing. 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 So here's the final look, y'all. I hope y'all like it. I posted on Facebook and Instagram, and I received a whole bunch of love for this look. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you liked, commented, and subscribed. Hit the notification bell. And as always, see you later.